Hello everyone, what's up? It's me again, Junkmaster3, and uh, it's time for yet another horror review video. Uh, and uh, for today's video, uh, I'm going to make a review of the film called Ghost in the Machine. Um, this is an Anchor Bay release, I really like those Anchor Bay releases. Um, and this is quite an interesting and fascinating little film. Uh, the film is basically about... Uh, this serial killer, you don't, you know from the get-go who the serial killer is, so that's not really like in a big like spoiler or anything like that, but um, Karen Allen's character, uh, she uh, she and her son visits this um, place where you can buy computers and gadgets and stuff like that, and uh, one of the people that works there, he's a very creepy looking guy, and he's like, the way he's like looking at everything, um, the look on his face and all of that, and then you realize that he's actually one of the serial killers that, uh, that the police has been after for quite some time. But before they can capture him, or like know what he really, who he is, uh, he gets killed off in a very weird and bizarre way. And uh, right after that, just because he's probably because he was like really like high tech and he like knows really all of these computers and gadgets and how they work, for some weird reason his soul gets like drawn into uh, all of these uh, electronics so and whatnot. So everything that's on the electronic that can potentially kill you because now he's pretty much in charge of that. Uh, so he has like this little notebook that Karen Allen's character accidentally left in the uh, store and then he's grabbed it and then he's pretty much he pretty much can scan through oh who's in this notebook and he needs he needs to kill off those people for what reason I'm not really sure he's just a mad serial killer in general um, now just based on how what I just how I described this film I don't want to spoil anything else than that but uh, I would say this is a very similar film to if you like the film Shocker uh, from 1989 by Wes Craven, this is a very similar uh, type of film. You can throw a little bit of a brain scan in there as well. Um, it's a pretty interesting and neat little like storyline in general. And uh, for, for sure, it's not like a masterpiece or anything like that. But I thought it was very charming, just the whole 90s aesthetic of the film, like how people dress and all of that as well. Um, and I would say the acting is pretty good as well um, from most of the actors. Um, it feels like the main bad guy is like uh, overacting a little bit, but that's just maybe it's just a part of his character. I'm not really sure. Um, but anyway, I would say this is yeah highly recommended if you like those films that I just mentioned. And uh, just keep in mind that this film was made in the '90s, so some of the CG in this looks absolutely horrendous. But I will also say that's also a little bit part of the charm of this film. Uh, so if you can um, ignore that and just have fun with it, you'd probably have a good time with this film. Uh, now, uh, this is directed by the same director who directed the probably one of the weakest films in the Elm Street series, uh, Freddy Stay Dead, I believe. Uh, but don't let that fool you. This is actually a pretty darn funny little film. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Ghost in the Machine. I would say this is a um, 6 out of 10 for me. Uh, so uh, if you don't care for Shocker or you don't care for Brain Scan or anything like that or like the high tech like 90s type of stuff I would say stay away from this film but if you like any of those films go check this one out and give it a shot uh, you might like it uh, so uh, yeah uh, Ghost in the Machine so yeah that's Ghost, That's my review of uh, Ghost in the Machine uh, like I said I think I did give this a 6 out of, a six out of 10 as well um, now I'm not really sure what other film I'm going to make a review of I'm going to try to uh, prioritize the horror review videos from now on uh, because it's just been a whole lack of those in general so uh, I feel the need to make more of those especially since it's the month of October uh, but anyway hope you enjoyed and uh, keep your eyes open for the next video so see you next time bye bye